has been on a roll with the new MG4 and the Cybersteer coming in. But it is this car that really gets the attention, the new MG3. Welcome to Drive Media Reviews. Today we are doing a quick walk around video of the new generation MG3 in this fantastic blue color. MG3 looks radically different, but how much will it pair on paper? Let's check out the specs of the car straight up. Talking about the front of the car, you face of the car looks very attractive. You got this upswept LED headlights at the front and it's very interesting grill. Border kind of creases down, that's quite different. And the MG logo looks really interesting on the front of the car as well. Talking about the side profile of the MG3, again, again as I said, it's a radical departure, looks really different. You got a very strong shoulder line that runs the front, runs all the way to the back. And you got this really chunky door handles and these big mirrors as well, as I said. We have 16 inch wheels I can see on this car, the alloy wheel design is really great. I'm not sure what the size you get depending on the trims of the car, I will put that down later. Other than that, you got big windows, so that means a lot of space on the car and the rear kind of drops into the back, kind of gives the coupe like effect from the, kind of gives a coupe like effect. Again, the departure from the tall boy styling of the earlier car. Talk about the back of the MG3, again, it looks very striking. If, if you see the tailgate, it looks very nice. You got this tail line that stretch into the side of the car. You got a strictly rake glass and the clean tailgate. The bumper is a diffuser kind of effect. Again, will leave you wanted when it passes you. And you got a little spoiler at the top as well. It says hybrid because down the MG3 comes in hybrid only. What about the exterior of the new MG3? Let's jump on the inside and check out the interior of the car. Talking about the interior of the MG3, it's a radical departure from the earlier car. But quite a pleasing interior to look at. First of all, the materials are of course scratchy, but definitely some really nice, good quality materials. Right up front, you got a lovely steering wheel with these controls. It's a two-spoke steering wheel, something really nice I've seen on a hatchback. Um, so you can only adjust it for height, you cannot adjust it for your reach. Um, you got a little instrument cluster, I'm not sure of the size, and you got a little screen over here that is quite big and intrusive. Interestingly, you got controls here for the aircon and that also means the main controls for the ECI inside the touchscreen. So you got a few shortcut controls here and center console got the twin cup holders, you got a wireless charger, you got your gearbox controls here, you got a little storage area here. Um, yep, a little storage pad that you can adjust here for as per your need and you got a huge glove box on the front as well. Overall, it's really good. Um, the seats are very comfortable and great. You get a great view out of the car. I do like these mirrors. They are shaped in a very angular way and you have great view out. Um, sun visor got a mirror and a light. So that's really interesting. Similar for the passenger air as well. Um, either rear view mirror is automatic and frameless. That's really nice. Gives you a great view of the back. You got a little SOS control here. Not really fair of the way the center console is. The top console is finished, could have been finished in a premium way. Other than that, there's really nothing much to complain about. Footwell area is also great and seat comfort is nice. Yep, pretty much impressed by the cabin of the MG3. Let's jump in the back and check out the space on the back. How about the back seat? It's a bit cramped the old space. I can't really fit my shoes under the seat, possibly due to the battery. The mild hybrid battery being there. Uh, I think that seat comfort is good, I have good comfort, just a bit short on leg room and headroom is pretty marginal, you got a huge window so you can see a lot out of the car. Three people as you see would fit here with a breeze but you would be sitting ties up. So it's best to put two adults and a child, you got easy vents over here and a single USB socket. I wonder why MG did do this, possibly a dual, possibly dual USB charging would be the best one. But overall, it's really nice. You got a little storage space here for your phone, and yep, that's about it. You do miss an armrest though in the car, and that it's really good. MG is known to pack its cars with loads of features. What really stands out on the MG3? Let's take a look straight away. 
And if you guys want to know step by step what's different in a car, do remember to head to triple www.drivedireviews.com for all the lowdown on the car straight away. Quite an attractive design language and quite a feature packed interior. What do you guys think about the new MG3? Let me know in the comment section below. Do remember to like, comment, share, stay subscribed to Drive Media Reviews. Always, I will see you guys in the next video real soon. Until then, until we meet again, goodbye.